Hi, and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a channeled love letter from your twin flame or soulmate. There are four groups to choose from. Group one is this letter, along with the Sardonyx. Group two is this letter. along with the Carnelian. Group three is this letter, along with the Angelite. And group four is this letter, along with the Malachite. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you would like to jump ahead. Hi, group one. You chose this letter, which I will read in just a minute, along with the Sardonyx. So I'm going to start with a few of these Kipper Oracle cards to get kind of an overview of what's going on with your twin flame or soulmate right now, and then I'll get into the letter from their higher self. So we have Coffin, Marriage, Toil and Labor, Gift, Imprisonment, and expectation. So there's a couple different energies coming through with this. Um, for some people, this is going to apply if your twin flame or soulmate was in a karmic marriage or some other kind of third party situation that had been on the rocks, um, kind of like a toxic connection with somebody, maybe something that had just gone sour, it had passed its expiration date, and both people were kind of just holding on, feeling very um, tied to the situation, very duty bound, very obligated, very unhappy just biding their time almost, maybe sticking around until the kids got older, sticking around to, you know, get some kind of finances. This can even, in order, this can even tie into like a messy divorce, something that there had been a lot of logistics involved in that, a lot of assets that needed to be divided, that your twin flame or soulmate is actually starting to be very proactive and extracting themselves from, or with the idea of coffin that it has come to a close. So they may be in some phase of getting a legal separation, getting a divorce, maybe this has gone all the way through and um, they have been liberated from this circumstance at this point in time. Um, the idea here with gift is, you know, trying to and really sort of struggling, it feels like, to make sense as to why they stuck around for as long as they did, trying to, you know, kind of make the most of, of the circumstances that they find themselves in now, working on cultivating a sense of abundance and expectation within them that the future can look better from whatever the past had been characterized as uh, a lot of difficulties, you know, trying to make things work, maybe only one person really trying to make things work in that situation. And, you know, it was just something that at the end of the day, it, it fell apart despite this individual's best efforts. 
the other sort of storyline or circumstance that is coming through with this ties in with the idea of marriage to um, your twin flame or soulmate's relationship with themselves. Um, this can be kind of a revamping in some way of the self-talk. Again, trying to cultivate a lot more abundance for themselves, freeing themselves from outdated patterns, um, toxic thinking, lack mentality, working to build that self-esteem, working to look toward the future with a sense of expectation that whatever their past has looked like, maybe in the connection with you, maybe just in general in their life, kind of some bigger karmic cycles that they are wrapping up with the idea of marriage. Just can talk about like family patterns, belief systems, things that they were really enculturated with that in some way were not reflective of their authenticity, their wants, their needs, their desires, who they were as individuals, a lot of like codependency, um, placating, you know, what their family wanted them to do, trying to fit into a role that they felt society had dictated for them, their culture, their religion, their upbringing, whatever that looks like. Um, and there's a redefining that is going on right now, kind of closing out those chapters, searching within, um, recommitting to themselves first and foremost, where if they had really given that autonomy and power away to others, um, had allowed the opinions of others or a path that had been dictated to them, carved out to them. This ties into like family and legacy kind of uh, vibes there. So, you know, maybe kind of working for a family business, even though it didn't make them happy, they had dreams elsewhere to do something else. Maybe it was going on a particular professional path because, you know, for multiple generations, uh, everyone had kind of done that same thing or vice versa. There was a lot of pressure on them uh, to outperform, to, to really sort of take advantage of opportunities to excel and exceed in ways that previous generations could not have um, or didn't have the ability to, to do. Sacrifices and work that was almost done or put in to sort of make a way for this individual and a sense of duty and obligation to really live up to other people's expectations. Meanwhile, there's kind of this idea with expectation and this woman sort of looking out the window there's been this sense of, of longing for something else, for something more, feeling very um, trapped along that sort of path or road that they had carved up carved out for themselves or that others had carved for them. This can tie into tapping into some gifts, maybe some psychic gifts, artistic gifts, um, you know, creative gifts any kind of uh, skill that they have cultivating, you know, self-love, self-respect, some new kind of coping mechanisms and tools to really stand in their independence. This can even tie into, you know, going back to school, taking online courses, really kind of like working to hone their craft in whatever way that resonates for this situation and kind of putting an end to one particular cycle, maybe of just sort of like hiding these aspects of themselves away or just sitting there with this idea of like kind of quiet desperation, sort of wishful thinking, um, you know, what if, or, or in another life, or, you know, in, in better circumstances, I'd be doing um, X, Y, and Z as opposed to whatever is is my life at this point in time. It feels that all of that is is kind of being redefined in a way. And whether it, this can even be like a blending of that first scenario and this scenario right here, where extracting themselves from something that has been the status quo for a very long time um, and kind of opening those horizons and saying, well, what now? What do I want versus what have other people kind of prescribed or sort of, um, you know, forced upon or, or a sense of like being very duty bound or obligated to something that was just not in resonance with this individual's uh, kind of true calling in a way, true passion, an aspect of them that may have even gone through kind of this dark night of the soul, this dissolution of the ego in some manner, their awakening, their ascending and kind of looking around at the, at the world they've created, the life they've created for themselves and really seeing kind of what stays and what needs to go using this time, using this opportunity, using endings as a gift to create something different for themselves. So there's almost kind of this simultaneous energy of sort of like endings and beginnings here. And for those of you where, you know, it feels like for a lot of you, these are steps that are already kind of in motion. They've at least taken those first steps. Um, but for others of you, this will be kind of like being in those planning stages, sort of like planning their escape uh, in a very serious way, more so than they had in the past. You know, maybe this is starting to work more to put away money, to save up for something, whether that's going back to school 
um, you know, moving on into another direction as far as their career is concerned. This can even be kind of like working with an attorney um, to kind of unbind themselves from certain contracts, maybe to do with work, maybe to do with other sort of obligations or like a third party connection, like a karmic marriage, a karmic relationship, something like that. There's, there's wheels that have been set in motion to bring about conclusions and also um, kind of looking toward the future, how to grow, how to evolve beyond these current circumstances or whatever that status quo has looked like up to this point in time. So I'm going to read the channeled letter from their higher self now and see what does your twin flame or soulmate want you to know at this time. I am experiencing surges of enthusiasm at the idea of pressing forward beyond this stagnation into what's to come on the brighter side of this connection. I have been wrapped up in my own discomfort during this last stage, and I think it's high time I put my own worries aside for a moment so that I can stop by and see how you're doing for a change. You have taught me the beauty of silence, and it is here that I have started to see the truth that what I have been seeking outside myself all these years could only ever be found within. Though I am remote from you, I keep a watchful eye on you through various means I will teach you about one day. I am seeing now that your strengths are what I have needed all along to compensate for where I am lacking. There are subtleties in your smile that mirror the mystery I am too inside. Though we have grown beyond the need for words, the time is fast approaching for the dialogue that needs to take place. I am tired of sitting on this secret longing. Our worlds ought to be intertwined. Once I questioned the nature of your soul, and your true intentions for me. I see now we have always been on the same side. So I'm going to close this out with some initials for you. And this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your twin flame or soulmate or spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Okay. We have A. D, N, C, G, I, and T. So those are your messages and your channeled love letter. I hope that the messages resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop, and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers. If you're interested in checking any of that out as well and I've launched a second channel here on YouTube which is called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format over there consists of pick cards and general energy readings related to subjects such as spirituality, ascension, wellness, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group two. You chose this letter, which I'll read in just a minute, along with the carnelian. I'm going to start with some of these Kipper Oracle cards to get kind of a feel of what's going on with your twin flame or soulmate right now. Okay. 
we have Journey. Judication, Bad Health, Change, Concern, and Main Mail. So there's definitely um, kind of a tense and worried energy here. It feels like surrounding your twin flame or soulmate. They may be going through some legal troubles, some health troubles, um, a lot of pressure, concerns, and worry. Maybe having to do with moving, a career change, getting older, moving on into the next phase of their life. This can tie into some kind of like existential crisis that they're having, kind of like Dark Knight of the Soul energy where, you know, things have fallen away from their lives they're no longer resonating with a version of themselves a life they had crafted for themselves there's a yearning for something more but almost and it feels like for some even kind of like a higher calling towards something else maybe a dream that had been deferred from when they were younger that you know they're they're kind of getting this renewed vigor to pursue at this point in time but there's a bit of concern about how to get all of these moving parts going um, in a way that you know creates stability, that can sustain their lifestyle, that they can have their needs met, perhaps in a long-term sense, from whatever it is they're being compelled to, to bring into their life and to also sort of close out and move away from. Um, it feels like it's giving me, with this main male, this is giving me almost like the emperor vibes here. So a bit of kind of like battling with their pride and ego at this point in time. Um, especially if this is something where they've achieved a degree of success, power, or responsibility in some way, having to do with their finances and with their career. It almost feels like something that may have been like an uphill battle, something that there was a lot of pressure to perform. And what's happening with them energetically or spiritually, it's almost compromising that ability. They're not as sharp. They're not on their A game at this point in time. They have a lot of struggle going on within, a lot of like chaos and turmoil, and it's taking all of their power uh, to just kind of keep everything moving, keep juggling all of these responsibilities, to keep pushing toward a goal or a dream, or to really sort of fit into a particular lifestyle or a version of themselves, a version of what the world has known them as, uh, because there's all this kind of like internal change inside. It's almost bringing forth this idea of someone trying to like cup their own light within themselves, that they've been cracked open in some way, most likely spurred by the connection with you, that energetic spark, that exchange. This is like kundalini awakening energy, spiritual awakening energy. And something that they have seen on like a soul level, on an energetic level, this proximity to you, this sense of uh, like a higher purpose, a higher awareness within themselves. And, and even kind of, um, if you're in separation from one another, sort of that lingering energetic cord between the two of you, where even though, you know, there may be silence, you're, you're still exchanging with one another. A lot of this may be very much outside of the box for this individual things like telepathy, you know, a lot of signs and synchronicities that they are getting um, in the in the real world. It feels like for a lot of you, they're, they're starting to look at these things, starting to research these things. Maybe even like angel numbers are coming up so frequently that it's very hard for them at this point in time to just ignore the fact that they keep seeing almost like these neon signs of synchronicity everywhere that they look. Um, and so it's almost like there's the outward face that they're showing and then there's this internal aspect within them that is illuminated, that is awakened that cannot be put back to sleep at this point in time. Um, and I'm hearing the word Jack in the box. So maybe Jack is a name that is significant um, for some of you. You're, that's your person's name. Maybe your name is Jack or Jackie. Um, but this can also tie into the idea of kind of just this part of them that is wanting to burst forth and that it's taking all their effort at this point in time to just kind of keep a lid on things uh, to, you know, maybe remain in place, urges that they have to sort of move forward in their life, make some kind of changes, maybe changes that have been sort of instilled by the universe, a lot of tower moments, a lot of things that have come toppling down. Um, and it's a struggle for this individual at this point in time to kind of like keep it all together. 
to keep themselves from completely crumbling. Um, a lot of pressure upon them at this point in time. This definitely feels like the energy of um, kind of like tests, karma maybe coming back around to them in some way. You know, they're, they're really being, uh, they're kind of like under the thumb of the universe at this point in time, but it feels like the heat and pressure that almost can like make a diamond out of this person in a sense. This is a very necessary like reckoning period, but it feels like it's not just change that they are being urged to make or that is happening in one area of their life. It's like in multiple areas. It's kind of like wherever they go, there's there's no ability to kind of run from these things. Their past may be catching up with them. Um, you know, again, a lot of like karma, things that they have put out is now being uh, reverber. It's reverberating to them. They're having to answer for that. They're having to like balance that out within themselves. Uh, a lot that may be mirrored to them by way of other people, um, you know, being a bit testy with them, uh, not putting up with, you know, kind of this very like ego based living anymore. They may be getting a lot of pushback from people, uh, other people in their lives, maybe standing up to them, taking their power back. And it almost feels like this energy of sort of like finding themselves very much alone. They may feel very kind of judged, um, very kind of angry at the universe is sort of the vibration here, or, you know, feeling just very kind of like left out in the cold, a, a bit of a Pity, pity party that might be going on at this point in time because it just feels like so much is kind of like crashing down on them at once that it's sort of the sense of like what did I do to deserve this where did I go wrong in this circumstance and yet there's this light of illumination within them that is is encouraging them to you know kind of unfold on the other side of this to just sort of stick through this stick with this persevere and that there's kind of like a larger purpose of what's needing to be balanced out, what they're being shown, or the changes that they're being pulled toward or are invited to or are being forced to take and, and take into account and evaluate and make plans and preparations for at this time. So I'm going to read the channeled love letter from their higher self and let's see what is your twin flame or soulmate I want you to know at this time. Waves of regret are tossing me to and fro. You are the treasure that I underestimated. I feel the pressure of the consequences of my choices bearing down upon me, and there is no one left to push away or blame. I have reached some difficult conclusions, and self-deception no longer hides the plain truth of the life of illusion that has only been a way to squander my potential. There is nowhere to go from here but up. I call out for help and am greeted by a vacancy of support. I feel cradled somehow, despite appearances, by a force of love that is greater than the two of us. Your realizations and growth are imparting a framework I too must emulate in my own energy in order to find meaning and purpose that may sustain me on the voyage ahead. The thought of you is still electric, even after all that has happened. The constancy of affection I feel for you, despite my best efforts to starve it out, makes clear to me that the explanation of who we are to each other and what we might yet become is a top priority if I am to liberate myself from my current state. So I'm going to get some initials to close this out. And this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your twin flame or soulmate, or it could spell something out. Just whatever resonates for you. R C J P M D G and K. 
So those are your messages and that is your channeled love letter. I hope that the messages resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. And I've launched a second channel here on YouTube, which is called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format of, over there consists of pick a cards and general energy readings related to subjects such as spirituality, ascension, wellness, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group three. I chose this letter, which I'll read in just a minute, along with the angelite. So I'm going to start with some of these Kipper Oracle cards to get a feel for what's going on right now with your twin flame or soulmate. So we have despair, bad health, occupation, courtship, judication, and sudden wealth. So this is definitely giving me the vibration of somebody who might be a workaholic or somebody who has been avoiding almost like the internal work within themselves by focusing on kind of a stance of acquisitiveness in the material world. Um, you know, spending time with people, being entertained, entertaining. Um, this can be somebody with like a shopping addiction, uh, an addiction to food, different kind of substances, um, you know, just kind of this this mentality of like, go, 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 in order to avoid kind of that quiet space within and something that is needing to be addressed within themselves. Um, the idea with bad health is really bringing to mind kind of like self-medicating in some manner. Um, it may be very difficult for, and, and it's taking a lot for this person to kind of like put on a smile and carry forth in their in their day-to-day -day reality. There's a sense uh, creeping into them of almost inauthenticity at this point in time and kind of what they have been turning to, what they have been leaning upon to, again, like avoid this internal work within themselves. So maybe it's taking more to kind of get that adrenaline rush, more to kind of numb themselves out to something. And it almost feels that a lot of choices that they have made in the past, maybe having to do with like lifestyle habits, stress from overworking, someone who kind of like buries themselves in their job in order to avoid, you know, like a difficult home situation, for example, to avoid difficulties within themselves. They're very kind of like status and success driven as a way to kind of deflect from almost like a feeling of emptiness and loneliness within themselves this kind of like stress or whatever it is they've been turning to in the material sense it's really catching up with them for some people with this idea of like bad health and also judication and sudden wealth they may have gotten 
they may have had like a health scare recently or they got um, some kind of like word of warning like an early warning about something that needed to change uh, in their life in their routine in their habits in some way this could be somebody close to them maybe even somebody through work that had some kind of a health scare had something happen to them and it was kind of like a wake-up call for this individual um, where they are you know starting to almost flirt with the idea of making changes so these these may be like small steps that they are taking at this point in time to get clean to dry out um, you know maybe some self-help maybe this is somebody who's if they live live like a sedentary lifestyle they're starting to get up and like move their body around you know take walks even maybe starting to do like an aerobics class yoga is something that also might be um, kind of a method that they are turning to they're starting to kind of uh, eat clean you know drink more water kind of take things a lot more seriously um, and it's it feels almost like something that was kind of like it's this state right now of, of kind of at a crossroads they're at a precipice in some manner they're not fully kind of like leaning into this energy of change but there's some kind of like awareness within themselves that they can't keep going this way um, or it's gonna kind of like end badly for them it's you know they're you know not going to be able to kind of live the fullest quality of life or again even sort of like people around them someone close to them or this could even be like literally them where um you know they're they're starting to kind of like feel their age that's starting to really catch up with them uh choices that they have made ways in which they've kind of not just neglected like the physical vessel but it feels almost like some kind of spiritual or emotional dis-ease things that they have been you know avoiding for quite some time they've been kind of like dancing around this or or just focusing everywhere else other than kind of on that work that needs to be done it within um it's it's rising to the surface in a lot of ways they may be easily triggered they're seeing this kind of like reflected in other people um you know they're they're kind of in some way it almost feels like the higher self is kind of drawing their attention forcing them to look at kind of where the road that they have been headed down what that is going to inevitably lead to even just in terms of like a diminished quality of life or for some you know depending on what the nature of this is that these could be you know habits and lifestyles and tendencies even just like stress itself that is in some way um you know diminishing like the quality or the longevity of their life in in a long-term sense um to where it's almost it's some kind of like a wake up call that's happening, but it feels to be, it's almost, it's in this energy right now of kind of like these things are being whispered to them. It's it's just kind of like on the peripheral. This may be something though that the universe has been whispering about for quite some time, but these signs kind of like with this jackpot here and 777, that can be a significant number for this connection. Um, or again, just like these repeating signs, synchronicities, it's like these things keep happening. They keep going down, you know, kind of choosing the same methods and and not achieving different results or the signs that they are getting that you know change needs to happen they need to start taking accountability starting needing to start taking ownership needing to start kind of like cleaning up that internal landscape within themselves because it's manifesting as dis-ease in other kind of aspects in their life sort of like these these interconnected elements where they're you know just kind of looking at the surface and the answer really lies within uh, those signs are getting louder and louder by the universe it's getting to the point of almost like some kind of a breakdown that may be in in the works here this can talk about like professional burnout for example um, something where their health is suffering their immune system is is low um, you know with the idea of courtship maybe even sort of the the unhealed things within themselves it's starting to take a toll on other connections in their life uh, their friendships are suffering you know the relationship with their kids is suffering um, with any kind of romantic partners with their family it's it's all just kind of experiencing that pressure of kind of like this wound within themselves that is 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 crying out is is just kind of um, sending out this frequency of hurt and it's something where they can no longer kind of be at this point of like ignoring these signs um, but it's a slow kind of pivot it's a slow wake-up call in another direction this may have been something that's a long time coming it feels like there's a lot of, of kind of backlog a lot of lost time that they're needing to make up for um, just starting to take those first small steps or again kind of get that clue get that indication of um, sort of a preview of what what their future what their horizon could look like if they don't take proactive steps now to exact changes for themselves 
So a lot of weight and gravity to that, a heaviness, almost a sense of um, that they can't help but just look at it at this point in time. It doesn't necessarily feel that they are, you know, extremely motivated and excited. They haven't even yet seen kind of the yield or the results of these changes and shifts. If it's something where, you know, maybe it's substance abuse, for example, it feels like they could still be in that period of sort of going through withdrawals, not feeling good from that. They haven't yet crossed that threshold to really understand what kind of that, um, um, that despair and that suffering kind of what exists the possibility on the other side of that and yet they're being sort of pulled in the direction of cleaning up their act making healthier choices for themselves um, sort of scratching just right at the surface of a lot of things that have been buried within themselves as far as you know wounds maybe things from childhood or generational patterns or you know just a tendency to kind of like project outward to um, you know be almost like not able or, or unwilling to find ways to to fill their own cup, but just really expecting other things trying to bring in other things to kind of like um, stuff down and, and to try and like suppress or ignore some kind of void that they feel within. Um, and they're kind of like taking the lid off of that for the first time and sort of like peeking around in there, not really sure what to find, not really even sure how to go about doing this, but kind of just leaning into this energy of um, at least opened and entertaining the possibility of, of a different way of being. So if this is somebody who has been very kind of like stuck in their ways, these are long-term co Coping mechanisms, long-term habits, um, you know, a long-term pattern of just kind of deflecting outward, seeking outward gratification. Um, you know, they're, they, it feels like they're kind of at the stage of knowing that a different approach may need to be taken to their life, to their circumstances, starting to connect all these dots, starting to see all those little signs and synchronicities and clues that are adding up for them that, um, you know, they need to make some kind of change in their life on like a multifold way at this point in time or, um, it's almost like they've they've kind of reached the end of the road with how far they can kind of like defer, push away, um, or continue some kind of like a coping mechanism, some kind of tendency or behavior um, or habit within themselves, some kind of a routine, like something has to shift, something has to give. Um, and it feels like they're kind of in the experimentation stage of this. They're kind of like flirting with, um, you know, these alternatives to, to whatever had been the case before. Um, so this does feel to be some kind of progress to at least questioning maybe some of these karmic patterns, um, habits, routines, again, like coping mechanisms is a big one here that have just been the default or have been deeply ingrained within this person for a very long time. They're starting to kind of look outside the box um, to question and to entertain the possibility of a different way of being, doing, and moving through the world. So I'm going to take a look at um, the channeled love letter from their higher self. And let's see, what does your twin flame or soulmate want you to know at this time? Do it again. Read my mind like you used to. I remember the synchronicities we created together. How the world was malleable and full of raw potential that became potent and active whenever we were near. I ran from the raw power of this connection. I rejected the crown that was rightly mine. Now it's all I want. I am no longer confused about who you are to me. Denial has evaporated and no longer is a pastime I choose to participate in. I am recognizing my worthiness at long last to stand by your side as we co-create the future together, armed and emboldened by the wisdom of the past. Apologies are owed, and yet love means never having to say you're sorry. This and that are true. The previous manifestation of me would have seized this epiphany and run clumsily towards you, trampling the new shoots of a future that has just broken ground in this situation. I demonstrate my growth to you deliberately with my patience and tact. I want to endure with you and the tenderness that is available to us must be cultivated gradually. There is a new kind of twinkle in my eye nowadays. This soul recognition is there. If you look, 
just a little closer. So I'm going to get some initials, and this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your twin flame or soulmate, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. All right, so we've got you, E, T, V, A, Z, Y, and D. So those are your messages and that is your channeled love letter. I hope that the messages resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well and I've launched a second channel here on YouTube which is called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format over there consists of pick a cards and general energy readings related to subjects such as spirituality, ascension, wellness, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi group four. We chose this letter which I'll read in just a minute along with the Malachite. So I'm going to start with some of these Kipper Oracle cards to get a feel for what's going on right now with your twin flame or soulmate. gift, official person, expectation, and high honor. So it feels like your twin flame or your soulmate, uh, their life is on an upswing. This may definitely have to do with some kind of a promotion at work, something that they have been working hard towards, some kind of a goal. Um, this can have to do with education, maybe higher education in some manner that they've kind of like reached the top of the mountain. They've reached this sort of pinnacle of success for themselves um, and it's giving them some breathing room to really start to plan in a new way for the future. What may have seemed just kind of theoretical to them before is now closer within reach or they are in the process or have kind of reached this place where now there are these different horizons that are open to them. Uh, definitely this has to do with like school for example they're completing that. Uh, they've wrapped that up. They've kind of like gotten that degree, gotten that diploma. They've completed that uh, you know, rigorous course of study in some manner that may have been something that had been almost like a wedge or a third party energy in and of itself, the goals or the dream or this this kind of drive that this that this individual had to work towards something else may have come at the expense of what they were able to invest in you in the connection in the past, maybe a sense of feeling that 
they had other things they needed to accomplish before they were ready to sort of settle down. Um, almost a sense of being really involved in and kind of like, you know, making progress on a particular path. And then this connection with you, this experience with you just kind of came out of nowhere, may have put them at like a choice point, And they chose to kind of leave the connection behind or to focus in other directions. Um, their thoughts are now kind of like retracing to that choice point. And there's a bit of kind of like regret with this, almost a sense of feeling that that they missed the gift of this connection, that they should have, you know, tried harder to kind of like make room in your life or in their life for you. Maybe that sacrifices that they made or that they thought would have needed to be made, uh, something at the expense of their career. Again, this kind of like goal or uh, period of triumph that they had been working toward, had been trying to manifest in, had been like applying all their efforts toward. They may have thought that the connection could have just been a distraction for that. They, they weren't ready to settle down. They didn't know how how you'd fit into the equation of their life. Maybe even the two of you are kind of from two different worlds. So there was a bit of questioning about that as far as what would that look like? What would, how would that appear on the outside? Some decision to like not prioritize or to, um, you know, make space up to this point in time to be more inclusive with you in the connection. They're now having these second thoughts about that, um, wishing they had done things differently. And also kind of on the flip side of that, this can talk about um, you know, if a choice was made to kind of like move in another direction, leaving you hanging, leaving you with a lot of questions, um, you know, leaving you with the sense of expectation that they should have returned by now. Certainly they would have reached out by now. Certainly they would have seen the light by now. Um, it feels that this is someone who's kind of like planning their approach, planning their return perhaps to your life, um, but that they have been working to kind of like come to some place of accomplishment within themselves, something that they know they've been like needing to work on something that you know this can be like a goal or a dream or, or some kind of sense of like position or success or even financial stability some aspect within themselves maybe a bit of like emotion emotional immaturity some kind of like childhood wounding some aspects of themselves like self-work self-improvement self-growth that they have known um, for a while has needed to be done or maybe this was kind of like an ultimatum that you had given them in the past and then it's just been crickets you haven't heard from them and it's just kind of it's almost like the assumption just assuming the worst that um, you know that they were never coming back that this was going to be just kind of like a, a missed opportunity sort of situation uh, for a lot of you this feels to be where you know they are taking those steps they're, they're reaching these milestones they're reaching these places of accomplishment um, and and kind of while they're going through this process or now that they've reached this place of uh, you know congratulating themselves having completed something having um, almost had some kind of a glow up, but it feels to be very like material world sort of glow up energy. Something has improved in their circumstance, which has changed how they feel about themselves inside. They're almost like putting thought or, or some kind of like strategy uh, together to, to reemerge, to return to your life with some kind of, you know, this energy of gift, like proof that they have put in the work, proof that they are ready at this point in time to invest in you and like rebuilding the situation or to take things forward over to the next level level if it had kind of just been put on pause or had stalled out in some manner rather than kind of like returning or coming forth with empty promises this is an energy of integrity here wanting to do the right thing in this connection and rather than just kind of coming around and saying well I promise that I'll do better I, I promise I'll change I'll problem I promise that things will improve this is the energy of um, that they have some kind of evidence of that change some kind of something about them vibrationally maybe they're just you know they've settled down they become a lot more serious they're um, you know, they, they've worked towards something, they've achieved something by way of their career. They have a lot more uh, certainty and confidence to bring forward to you where in the past or up to this point, it may have been um, a little bit of like immaturity, kind of this, this thoughts energy is giving, giving me almost like page of wands, very indecisive, not really sure what they wanted to do, where they were going in their life. Again, especially if this, if this connection kind of like popped up out of nowhere, very unexpectedly, you may have really, it may have really thrown both of you for a loop. And, you know, this person may have kind of like needed to wander, um, needed to explore themselves, needed to explore their options and just really kind of like find themselves, reconfigure some kind of plan in some way. Um, and it does feel that it's, you know, a lot of kind of like effort has been put into this. You, you've you accompanied them on, on whatever this kind of trek is that they've been on to, to build something, develop something, you know, grow some part of themselves, rejuvenate, uh, revamp some part of their life in some manner. Um, 
and it does feel that it's you know they're they're wanting to like come back and and to try and work and salvage this connection try and work through fears and um you know perceptions of other people that idea of like maybe being from two different worlds almost a sense of like how is this going to work how is this going to look if they were fearful before this is the energy of um you know thinking of a way through trying to um you know muster all that courage to persevered fight through to tap into that untapped potential all that unknown of uh, what could happen if, if they just kind of threw caution to the wind um, and disconnected from you know how things look on the outside kind of uh, deviated from some linear plan of what they had thought their life would look like or the type of person they would partner with or you know the nature of relationships as they've known them up to this point in time this is the energy of like growth and evolution in some way um, you know taking things a lot more seriously taking the high road in this circumstance um, even if this is just coming back with like the gift of an apology uh, some kind of vindication that they are wanting to provide this is the energy of you know somebody who's really matured somebody who's grown in a lot of ways you know internally but it also feels to reflect in their material circumstances to uh, you know understanding the need to like provide you with some kind of answers um, you know, at least to give some kind of closure at a bare minimum, but this almost feels like uh, ready to kind of take things seriously, giving serious thought to, um, you know, kind of moving things forward, fighting for this connection, fighting through kind of the disrepair, the disarray of the past in order to, you know, again, kind of tap into that unknown, that untapped potential here. Um, and rather than expecting the worst, kind of shifting that focus to expecting the best, expecting excellency in this situation um, and kind of doing what they need to do, setting those plans in motion, um, creating that groundwork and that preparation within themselves to be able to bring forth a vibration of excellency to you so that the, the two of you can work towards that and like rebuilding or moving forth uh, in that direction going forward. So I'm going to read the channeled love letter from their higher self and let's see what is your twin flame or soulmate want you to know at this time. Try to feel my protection pressing in all around you. The clues of my wings wrapped tightly around you, intending only love, are there for you to find when you're ready. This journey has tested us both. Time and again, we flow back together and discover we have always been moving as one. This connection is unlike the others, and I keep coming back to the reality of you. I don't know how to say I'm sorry, so I am sending you gushing love along a frequency tuned just to us. Your full range of emotions and every version of you is always welcome in my house. I know you have only wanted the best for us, and the sacrifices you have made in order to lead by example in that regard are amazing and fill me with increasing confidence that the only reasonable choice from this point forward is to move in your direction. I see colors I never knew existed when the thought of you crosses my mind. You are poetry etched into the very fabric of who I truly am inside. By studying you, I learn myself on deeper levels. You are the answer to the quest I have been pulled on perpetually in this life. It's us in the end. Never forget that. And trust me when I say, I know it too, truly. So I'm going to get some initials, and this can be a first, middle, or last name of you or your twin flame or soulmate, or it could spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. All okay, we've got T, Z, N. O, G, V, 
S M A and J. So those are your messages and that is your channeled love letter. I hope that the messages resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer them through my Etsy shop and there's a link in the description box of the video for that. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of that out as well. And I've launched a second channel here on YouTube, which is called Lady of the Dawn Tarot. There's a link in the description box as well as in the channel section of my page for that. The format over there consists of pick a cards and general energy readings related to subjects such as spirituality, ascension, wellness, and self-love. So if any of that sounds interesting, I invite you to check that channel out. I thank you for your support there as well as for your continued support here on this channel. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.